Third up, Zachariah Bolanor, Bolanoir, and he his uh, thesis is a match made in heaven. This bank, small business relationships. Good evening, everyone. Please, before I start, I would like to thank the following people. My PhD supervisors, Associate Professor Stuart Locke, uh, from the Finance Department, obviously, and Pro Professor Mark Holmes from the Economics Department, the Postgraduate Office for, for their efforts, all my friends and you, the audience, for coming along tonight. Last but not least, my wife and my children, especially this time, my son, my six-year-old son, Tariq, who is perhaps a future banker. Because about an hour after, after I received the call to tell me that I was a finalist, he came up with a plan on how to spend the money. <laughs> he didn't know that conditions apply. So. Banks are critical to all economies. You and I put our money into banks, which lend it to borrowers like small businesses. Worldwide, over 95% of businesses are small, producing over 50% of the GDP. So it's not surprising that in New Zealand, for example, about two thirds of banks' business loans are made to small businesses. Banks must not go bust, so they must choose borrowers who are not default. Bank managers assess loan applications from small business borrowers using the five C's formula of lending, with character of the business owner, the most important for bankers and our focus here. The bank manager evaluates character by, ev by assessing two key qualities, integrity and capability. But he can do that only by building a relationship with the business owner who runs the business, manages the financials, hires employees. And only owners with good character overcome obstacles and meet their obligations regardless of the conditions. But despite its importance, character has been underplayed because of the overemphasis on automation of loan application assessment. Automation was initially used to improve the bank manager's decision making and cut costs. But over time, automation eliminated the bank manager's input altogether for small loans, car loans, and lastly, mortgage loans. Sadly, auto assessment cannot do character checks, and this misplaced reliance was a cause of the recent financial crisis. Now, automated decision making is creeping into small business lending, threatening our business banking systems and our money. While the first four C's can be auto-assessed as they lend themselves to measurement, assessing a character's integrity and capability needs the human touch of the business manager. This is the significance of relationship banking to banks. My research aims to alert banks and researchers to the value of relationship banking about which very little is known internationally. Uh, my research questions are, what are the benefits of relationship banking to banks dealing with small businesses and how can they secure these benefits? To answer this, I compared relationship loans with auto-assist loans and I interviewed bankers throughout the, the country from the five main banks which control over 84% of New Zealand's total bank assets. In short, my goal is to convince banks to use relationship banking as a vital assessment tool to ensure their small business loans are prudent, the banks don't go bust, and your money and my money is safe. Thank you. Zachariah Bolenoir. Where was he 10 years ago when the banks were throwing money around willy-nilly?